all right guys i'm gonna try to show everybody how i clean quail um i got all my stuff together a pair of quail i shot today on some public land uh my old um shears that my friend larry gave me 20 years ago most guys lose these in the first five years some water ziploc baggie some bird cleaning juice um and that's about all a guy needs um so first take your shears and you snip them cut a wing i'm gonna save that wing to put in the wing box since these are public land birds Here's the other wing when you cut the um when you cut the legs make sure and cut above the the knee joints in the feathers above the knee joint cut the head off there's one Again, snip them above the leg joint. Cut the head off. Alright, the next one. The, the joint. Cut them as close to the body as you can. You're just doing what these guys are. <laughs> Cut them as close to the body as you can. Cut the head off. All right, the next thing is to skin them. And this is the part that's hard for people. It's really not difficult once you've done it a few times. Find the vent, um, grab it with your left hand, and squeeze it and pull. And you'll separate the skin there. The skin will break. And once it does that, you can just peel that skin right off of that, just like you can in orange. Come over those shoulders. Where you cut the wings, pull back onto the across the back, pull the skin off the legs. And then you'll end up with the tail, and if you grab at the base of the tail and just twist, you'll get it completely off. There's skin, there's bird. Clean the feathers off as you can. The more work you do in the field, the easier it is um, when you get back to the house. So, show you again. Grab the vent. Separate the skin at the vent. That was a little tougher. Peel up over the shoulders. Pull through the legs. Through the legs. Grab at the base of the tail. And twist. Got a pretty clean bird. Okay. Get all that ragweed in that crop. See it?
this this is a cool part <laughs> So you grab them by the vent and you pull up and you're careful. You don't want to leave a lot of feathers on, okay? And you pull them, pull that skin over the shoulders. And over those legs, like that. Make sense? Yep. How's that look? Pretty clean, right? You That's must right. have shot that one. It's only got one pellet hole in it. That's right. You take that tail. That's it off. You want to see me do that again? Let's do that again. What are you grabbing it by? You grab it by the vent. Pull what it they, up. What are they filled with there? Huh? So what are they filled with there? At the crop, vent? Not the crop. What do they fill? Oh, that's got. What is that, Dave? It's green, isn't it? Or the seeds? Ragweed. That's ragweed seeds? Yep. Yeah. I can see the seeds up close. Look down over the back. Down past the legs. Grab it at the base of that tail and twist. Clear that bit off. Got him later? No, I'll get him in a minute. I'll show you. Just one step at a time. That oh. one's the one we killed up on the lease. It's got Milo in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oops. Didn't quite get that one clean, did I? couple thousand times. Get rid of those crops so we don't make a mess. Now to get these birds. I take my tin snips, they're not necessary, but I just don't like tagging on them. Cut right there on the on the base at the V again above the vent. And I separate it out up like that where I can get my fingers in. If you look real close, you can see the lungs and the heart and the gizzard. Gotta reach up in there, get a hold of that heart. I like to get a hold of the esophagus. There we go. And then I pull it all out. One big bunch. If you want to pull it out the end, because then you get all the guy, all the um, stuff from the intestine out. So I just cut a V right at the vent, let it fall out, and you got that. And I'll go in the bag. We'll do one more. Just look at the base of the breast. Pull it up. Get your fingers in. Get a hold of the heart and the esophagus. Oops. Got a little aggressive. Pull that out. Snip. Done. My grandma used to save the hearts and the gizzards. Those were her favorite part. I'm too lazy to do that. Some guys do and enjoy it. Get 
them in the bag, take them to the house and soak them in some salt water and put them on the grill this evening for some supper. I got water, clean my hands. Water's pretty tough to come by where, where I hunt. A lot of times I'll do it close to the stock tank where I can get a little water. This is the water I had in my bag. Simple. I can take a drink of bird cleaning juice. Okay. You hunted these since you were a kid? Yeah, since yeah, since I was old enough. Hey, must be old, old, old enough to shoot. Yeah, you know, even before that. So we would walk and flush the birds, so my dad and my uncle would kill them. And, and uh, then we'd be expected to pretty much clean the birds at the end of the day. Absolutely. And <laughs> I always laugh, but the tradition was clean them birds. And the guys would be sitting there drinking beer, you know, and then they'd be like, no, you're not doing it right. <laughs> you know, they'd watch you clean the birds. And you may have done it a hundred times, but you're never doing it. <laughs> never doing it right. <laughs> okay, did you see what I did? Nope. Back down at the vent. And you separate that vent and you pull it up. Oh yeah. You don't want to pull that back all the way off because you want to leave them intact. Yeah. And then you can see down in there, the heart, the lungs, the gizzard. Yeah. Okay. That's right. So you reach your your finger up in there and you get ahead of that heart and get a hold of that esophagus, and you pull all that out, lungs and heart, and everything, and then the intestines come out in a in a package, right? And then what I do is I take my game shears, go snip, snip on the vent. There it is. There you go. Give it a little wash and it's good to go, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's about as clean as you can do it in the field, I think. Show a little back. Probably the one I shot. Lord knows it probably I, was the I one. I didn't hit that one in the head. The one I shot today, I shot back. Mm -hmm.